We're going to begin with the search to find that missing sub and rescue the five people on board. The underwater noises were detected within the search area overnight, a possible sign of hope with less than 24 hours of oxygen remaining in the vessel. Transportation correspondent Gio Benitez is in Halifax, Nova Scotia with the latest. Good morning, Gio. Hey, Michael, good morning to you. Yeah, the timing is now absolutely critical, and ABC News just confirmed that those noises were described as banging noises heard yesterday morning on sonar, but so far, they haven't found anything. Overnight, word that a Canadian aircraft detected underwater noises in the search area for that missing sub with five people on board, according to the U.S. Coast Guard. But subsequent searches coming up empty as the clock winds down. The vessel, which left Sunday morning on a mission to explore the Titanic's wreckage, starting with 96 hours of oxygen available, now less than 24 hours left. Our crews are working around the clock to ensure that we are doing everything possible to locate the Titan and the five crew members. The U.S., Canada, and France teaming up to search for any sign of the submersible, scouring more than 10,000 miles of sea. Air Force aircrafts flying in from Buffalo, New York, and the Navy sending a portable lift system designed to recover heavy sunken objects. Getting salvage equipment on scene is a top priority. There is a full court press effort uh, to get equipment on scene as quickly as we can. These photos, some of the last images taken of the group and Ocean Gate's Titan vessel Sunday morning before it entered the water. It was last heard from an hour and 45 minutes into its dive, but Ocean Gate not sounding the alarm for another several hours. The Coast Guard saying they then activated rescue crews immediately. All five people inside the sub now identified, British explorer and billionaire Hamish Harding, businessman Shazada Dawood and his 19-year-old son Suleiman, world-renowned Titanic researcher and diver P.H. Narjule, and the CEO of Ocean Gate, Stockton Rush. He showed off the boat's features in a CBS Sunday morning interview six months ago. I got these from uh, Camper World. We run the whole thing with this game controller. The pressure vessel is not MacGyver at all because that's where we work with Boeing and NASA and the University of Washington. Everything else can fail. Your thrusters can go, your lights can go, you're still going to be safe. The University of Washington telling ABC News they were not involved in the design, engineering, or testing of the Titan. NASA saying they were consulted but did not conduct testing and manufacturing via its workforce or facilities. Questions now growing about Ocean Gate's safety features. In a 2018 counterclaim lawsuit, a former employee claims he was fired after warning about the sub's lack of physical safety scans. The company sued him for breach of contract and allegedly sharing company secrets. The dispute settled out of court. And in a 2018 letter obtained by the New York Times and authenticated by ABC News, members of a committee specializing in submersibles expressed unanimous concern about the sub's safety. This is an expeditionary or an experimental craft. It is high risk and we just want people to have knowing consent of what they're doing and, and understand the full expectation of what, what's to be expected. Lives are at stake. Members of the committee say Ocean Gate did make some changes after their letter. Former passenger Aaron Newman, who traveled on the submersible in 2021, insisting he felt safe at all times, but describing the challenges those five passengers now face, even if they make it back to the surface. Because they, they can't get out, the craft has to be open from the outside. Uh, so we're just really hoping they're on the top, they're bobbing around, they're laying there. Uh, just relaxing and trying to conserve energy and oxygen. Oh my gosh, so are we stuck or what? Former ABC News correspondent Dr. Michael Gillen knows how dangerous the voyage to the Titanic can be. In 2000, an underwater current drove his sub right into the propeller of the Titanic. It was pretty scary, so I'm, I'm very aware of what these poor souls on board the ship, the Titan, are experiencing, and I, I'm just heartbroken about it. And the timing is so critical because, again, even if that sub did rise to the surface and they're just floating, waiting to be rescued, that sub is actually bolted shut from the outside. So they need to be found because they are running out of oxygen. They are essentially trapped, Michael. Yeah, time is.